Hey guys, my name is Ugo and I'm one of the co-founders of New Gen Leaders. Today I want to talk to you about confidence and how to cultivate the skill of confidence. Confidence is one of those characteristics that's really crucial when it comes to leadership. And there's a TED talk I watched by Dr. Ivan, Ivan Joseph. It was really insightful. He broke it down and I would suggest you go watch it and hopefully you get some insight from it. But I have in a very short period here, I, 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 I want to shed some light on two things about confidence that can help you cultivate that skill very quickly. The first one is competence. The second one is faith. The first one, competence, has to do with having a working knowledge of whatever it is that you want to be confident in. Let's just say, if you're going to be in leadership, leading people in whatever organization, right? Learning and having a working knowledge about psychology or how people work or what makes people work, what, what makes people tick is crucial if you're ever going to become confident. And then when you, when you develop that working knowledge, it's just a matter of over time making mistakes. The more you experiment with it, the more you're going to make mistakes and the more you're going to learn. Why? Because repetition is a good, good, good teacher when it comes to acquiring a skill. You would do it over and over and over again and the more you do it, the more you would build that muscle and then the more over time you're going to develop competence, which would then make you confident. The second thing I want to talk about is faith. If you're going to be confident, confident, not confident, if you're going to be confident, you will have to have faith in first, yourself, second, your team or the people that you're working with, and third, in some form of a higher power. In my case, it will be God, right? You have to, it's best when your confidence is rooted in something that's bigger than yourself. That's where the spiritual aspect comes in. And then your team, when it comes to the people you work with, you have to be able to beat your chest and say, I know they're gonna come through for me. So I have, in life, I have three best friends. My wife is not one of them. My wife occupies a, a space of her own. She's dear to my heart. But I have, but, but these three friends are people who if I got in jail tomorrow, I can call them up at midnight and no questions asked, they're gonna come get me. Why? Because they first have my best interest at heart and second, they know, they know me well enough to know that if this guy is in trouble, there's a bigger story here. So they don't have to ask me a billion questions to just come through for me. Because of that confidence I have in those relationships, I have a sense of pride in the people that call my best friends. And that gives me that oomph, you, you would say, to know that my, you know, when it comes to relationships, my balance is there. The third one is self-confidence or, or faith in yourself. Faith in yourself has to do with the first parts of what we talked about, having a working knowledge of a subject. The more you know about anything, the more you're going to be competent in that area. And the more competent you're going to be, the more confident you're going to be in that area. Did that make sense? So, confidence comes from competence, which has to do with having a working knowledge of the area that you're talking about. Okay? Confidence comes from having a strong enough faith in yourself, strong enough faith in people or your team, and a strong enough faith in a higher power, God in my case, specifically Jesus. So the more you know Jesus, the more you walk in your the, the spiritual reality of who you are in Christ, the more confident you are. And everything comes back together to repetition, repetition, repetition. Consistency has a huge factor to play. The more confident you are, the more consistent you are, the more confident you're gonna be over time. And you are gonna make mistakes. So when you make mistakes, just own it, learn from it and do it again. Make another, make another set of mistakes, learn from them and do it again. Again and again, repetition. And before you know it, you will build that muscle 
and you build that, that skill, develop that sense of confidence that will make other people go, he or she is a confident person. I hope this helps.